We introduced Multiscan, scalable RGBD scanning for 3D environments with articulated objects. For each scene, we collect scans at multiple time points. Each scan provides instant segmentations and oriented bounding boxes for multiple objects. Our dataset is the first to also provide part-level segmentations. The object and the part instances have consistent correspondences across scans of the scene at different times. The multi-scan dataset provides a rich set of annotations, including parts oriented bounding box with semantically meaningful orientation and part articulations. With these annotations, we can turn static reconstructions into dynamic and articulatable scans. Multiscan contains 230 scans of 108 environments with 9,458 objects and 4,331 parts in multiple poses and articulated states. Articulated objects have rotational or translational rigid movable parts that are connected by joints. For example, the drawer in the left translates relative to the counter and the cabinet door in the right can be opened and closed by rotating. Prior work on real-world 3D scene datasets mostly provides static scenes and object-level semantic annotations. This limits the tasks that can be performed. Specifically, it includes part and mobility understanding of the articulated objects in the rooms. On the other hand, prior work on understanding articulated 3D objects contributed real-world 3D articulated object datasets that don't provide the context of the surrounding scene. With this information, we benchmark several tasks that serve as building blocks for embodied AI and machine learning for robotics. For example, segmenting objects and the parts and predicting part mobility are useful for perception and manipulation systems in the real world. Given an input scan like the kitchen you see here, the object instance segmentation task is to predict and extract object instances such as the cabinet units, sinks, and a kitchen island. The part instance segmentation task is then focused on predicting semantic segmentation for parts of an extracted object, such as the cabinet unit you see here. Given such predicted parts like the doors, the mobility prediction task estimates the mobility parameters such as rotation axis for each door. To create the multi-scan dataset, we developed a scalable pipeline for data acquisition, processing, and a semantic annotation. For the data acquisition, we developed scanning apps for iOS and Android mobile devices, allowing users to easily scan a scene. Once a user scans the scene, they upload the data to a server where a textured mesh reconstruction is created within a few minutes. Once the reconstruction is created, annotators can then use a web-based interface to paint semantic instance annotations like the cabinet door here. Another interface allows the annotator to specify an oriented bounding box for each object and a semantically meaningful up and front orientation. Finally, a third interface is used to annotate articulation parameters like rotation and the translation axis for the door and the drawer units here. With this data, we carry out a series of benchmark experiments to evaluate methods from recent work on three building block tasks we introduced. Here, we show qualitative results for object instance segmentation task comparing three recent methods, point group, SSTNet, and HAS. All three methods give somewhat reasonable results, though there is space to improve. We also evaluate the same three methods on part instance segmentation. The qualitative results here show that all three methods perform much worse on part instance segmentation. The last task in our benchmark is part mobility estimation. Here, we compare two methods, ship to motion and OPDPN. Both methods struggle to provide reliable mobility predictions. Our experiments show that despite significant developments in 3D computer vision, these tasks are very challenging. The highest mean average precision scores are 30% for object segmentation, which is the easier task, and far lower for mobility prediction. Thank you for attention.